Hello Jim for Tech Buzz, new pair of headphones in. As you can see, these are kind of bonk and ducks again. Hear the world, enjoy your life. ANC wear sport headphones. These are really the new kind of thing these days. So on the back, you've got your sport headphones, magnetic cable and user manual, your support there. So we'll have a look at them and then we'll talk about them and take them off for review. And let you know how they sound. As always, so let's get the packaging off. Become this nice sliding sleeve. So that's them there. Let's see what else we get in the box. So you've got your V7 Sports headset. Getting started, parts of controls, making connections. So you've got pairing and connecting, you've multi point connection as well. And your phone calls, voice assistant, and all that kind of stuff in there. So you've got all your stuff there. And your usual bits and pieces. And power on and off. All your controls. Just a quick have a look at this and see what we've got inside. And any apps there. No sign of an app. But that's basically that there. You've got your cable here. Which, again, annoyingly proprietary, but that's it there. And, yeah. We've got the headset itself here. So, let's pop this off here. Right, so again, you can see how these are going to work. They're just going to rest around the outside of your ear, and you've got your controls here, and that looks like an LED light. Now, it's a minus and a plus, and very flexible back on the neck here, and there's a button on the side here, which is cool, and you can see the mics, and that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do is take them off and see what they sound like and come back and let you know. But again, these headsets tend to be simple to use. Everything is normally on one side, which is the case here, as you can see clearly there. You've got the two buttons there, you've got another button here, and you can see how flexible that neck band is, so they're effectively going to be resting on you like this. So we're going to take them off, we'll be back for a full review and tell you what else we find and what other features there is on them. So stay tuned after the break for more. Hello, it's Jim. I'm back with the ANC Wear Sport headphones. We've been testing out now for a bit, and we're quickly going to talk about these and let you know we saw them and overall the experience. So, again, I did mention this at the start in the unboxing. We've got proprietary charging, which I detest. But that's your cable there, what to expect. The magnet is decently strong and you can see it just finds itself there just by even dangling over like that. And overall, that's that part of the equation out of the way. My major dislike with most things that are proprietary charging, same for smart watches, but that's all going to change. So what are these and who are these for? So these have got Bluetooth 5.3 and are for people who are ultimately into sports, but anyone can use them. So it's not just for them but these are aimed at those into sports and that's pretty much it you've got an ip7 or 57 rating as well for or 67 sorry for waterproof so again you can use these outdoor take them to the gym and you see the modern were written in there v7 that's what will come up on your phone as well by the way when you connect it there's no app and they basically work the same way as any other bone conduction kind of headphone you're not going to get the best sound of music in the world but it's, it's actually quite good enough it's bassy as well i found it very deep and they get nicely loud too and overall they are fine for listening to music and you're going to have that bass effect but again you have to take in mind these will never get as good yet anyway as your in-ears or headphones but they do a good job which is important as these are the new craze these days, this kind of design and how these operate because they don't go into your ears, they sit outside them. So you do get a bit of leakage as well with sound. So if anyone's sitting beside you on a bus or any of that, they'll hear if your volume is up high. 
Um, we kind of demonstrate that in a minute too when we're showing you how to use the headset and that's it. But it's good for your ears as well, it's not going to damage them. Like, I'm always one that'll say people are leaking music full max and all that. And I should probably be taking a leaf out of these companies' books and start turning it down a bit as I get older, but that's just me. But this full whack will, like I mentioned, give leakage as well. But you'll get the best sound out of them um, with rich bass and nice volume. And that's really it and what there is to it in fairness. So they're open ears, you can see, and you've got your voice assistant built in and you've got all your controls as well, which we're going to have a look at now. So bring in the phone and we will have a gander. So you've got your three buttons. So you can see there, raised and so you raised, and this one is in red. Play and pause for this guy here. As you can see. Up here is your volume. So you can see the bar going up. And going down. So skip and reverse tracks, you will press and hold. And you can see the crowns work really well, which is good to see. And they're, it's not hard to mix them up or anything like that. They're nicely defined as well, so you can just navigate them blindly very quickly. And it's just a simple press down like that. So you can see your volume is up and down. You control your call as well. And you've got your voice assistant too built in. Play and pause. And you can just press this here for your voice assistant. I'll just pause that. And you can bring up your voice assistant as well. This will work if it's Android or iOS as well. We're just using our demo here on the iPhone 14 Pro. So you've got your voice assistant built in too, which is nice. So overall, that's pretty good and works really well overall. And you've got about eight hours of battery life at 70% volume. So that's not bad, considering this technology is kind of still newish, you have smaller batteries than these, and it's a decent enough battery, or decent enough longevity for your battery life. You get 20 days in standby, it takes 2 hours to charge, and the connection distance is 15 metres, which is slightly more than your average, which is 10 metres, which is fine. And that's really about it for these. Simple pair of bone conduction headphones that are actually quite um cheap as well to buy a lot of these are you're talking over 100 quid or slightly less these are going to be around 35 euros um, at the moment on sale previous that they are 60 so again they are cheaper and work well and it's a nice product from them if you're on a budget We'll drop a link below to write and pick them up and they're on Amazon and do check them out. But again, another pair of bone conduction headphones. We've done quite a few now. But another alternative for you if you're on a budget and for the money they're worth it in my opinion, to be fair. Nice, simple to use, simple buttons, simple setup and structure there and they fit and relax nicely behind your over your ears and this will part will sit on your neck on the bottom like so and it'll not bounce around too much but i did mention about the volume and um, which we'll just put on there now i'll just open up my phone again and we get the song up so i'm going to just put them on full so you can kind of hear it there um how loud it could be but Again, these are kind of targeted at those who are out going to the gym and jogging and cycling and all that kind of stuff. But that's just the way it is. But again, these are kind of great because you, you can still hear your surroundings as well, which is kind of important um, when you're wearing headphones out. So you can't hear what's going on, like for traffic, people coming up behind you, all that kind of stuff. You just need your wits about you, which all these bone conduction headsets provide in general. So that's it for the ANC Wear Sport headphones. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.